What's up, guys? Ash Pop the Flaters here, and I got Blame Shift with me. What's up, guys? What's Yo, up? What's up? Oh, you guys want to go down in the line, introduce yourself, and tell me what you do. I'm Jenny, and I'm the singer. I'm Tim. I play guitar. I'm Mike. I'm the bass player. And I'm Dan. I'm a goofball. No, I play drums. He's a piece of trash. <laughs> piece of garbage. I'm a piece of trash. Yeah. All right, all right. It's okay. Dissing. So, you guys just recently had an album out. You want to tell us about that? Why don't you tell uh, about it, Timmy? Oh uh, yeah, it came out November fifth. Um, Cold Secrets. Yep. And we're really excited. This is our first tour. We're actually out in support of the new record. So we have a whole headlining tour we're doing around the country. Just you know, having as many people hear it, buy it, listen to it, and uh, yeah, if you didn't get it yet, pick it up. I already have it, but thanks. I right, <laughs> love you. I know. So, uh, do you guys personally have a favorite track off the album? Uh, I do. Yeah. I, 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 I really like Say La Vie. I think that's a yeah. cool song. It's got a really cool groove. I play drums, he plays bass, so we really groove out on that tune. It's it's a lot of fun to play. Definitely. Uh, I would say Wherever It Goes or uh, Operating Table. It's kind of not the Operating most popular of, of the songs. Uh, kind of like the a uh, little more like emotional, a little different, um, but they're they're really meaningful to me, Got obviously. It. Uh, Lyrically and everything like that, so that would be mine too. What about you? Uh, I guess uh, I have no clue. <laughs> I <didn't laughs> I don't know. You just play the songs. Just play the songs. <laughs> you just wrote them. No big deal. Uh, I, I, don't I hate them all. <laughs> if you had to pick one, that's the funnest to play. Pro like, the funnest to play live is Leco. Probably yeah, probably Leco or Secrets. Yeah. Just because like the live show ties in really well with like. Fun the funnest isn't movie. a word by the way. Just in case either one of you want. The <laughs> funner. I don't know you. <laughs> That's still not a word. It's just a singer song. Guy. I'm a singer slash, slash English, English teacher. Major. Yeah, thanks. Got it. <laughs> Last night we were on stage in, in Hagerstown. She's like, Hag Hagers. Yeah, Hagerstown, Maryland. Yeah, he was calling it. <laughs> No, Tim said Hagger, Haggardstown and, ha and Haggerstown last night, and Haggard is not a nice word to say there, about a town. Because everyone there's Haggard. <laughs> nice. No, no one there's Not everyone. Haggard. I mean, there's a good portion of Haggard people there. I mean, there's Haggard people in You're dissing your fans now? <laughs> no, we, we never said they were our fans. No, just, Got it. Just people. It was, just it was people. our first time playing there, so really, there was only a handful of fans, you know, and hopefully we made some new fans, and now we'll probably lose them after probably this Probably lose interview. them after they hear <laughs> It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. All right. So lyrically, how do you write? Um, I Tim does a lot of the uh, like structuring the songs and writing the guitar parts and stuff like that, and I handle uh, most of the lyrics. And um, I, this album in particular has been a lot more um, kind of like like dear to me. You know, like it, it's very. Um, personal I guess you could say and I, I, I kind of strayed away from that on other albums just because I didn't really want to go that deep uh, but this one our, our producer Eric Ron also you know he's kind of pushed me to be a little more more vulnerable a little more open lyrically and um, so I think it's it definitely paid off and I think that people can connect to it because they can see that it's real it's not a made-up story or you know made-up stories about things that you know you kind of just dream up it's actually like real things that have happened um, either you know in the last few years or things that have happened in the past um, and so yeah so I'm, I'm really actually really proud of the lyrics on this on secrets more than okay that's a good answer there. Yeah. 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 yeah now speaking of secrets I, I have a funny story <laughs> for you guys all right so the line is tell me all your secrets and they're safe with me but do you know what it sounds like if you don't know the lyrics no oh we have a couple we have actually have a few things that well yeah but it, okay no, I don't want to hear what you say no, you guys go first. No, well, we have, oh, we have, well, we were, <laughs> when we were in the studio, we, well, we're just in general, we always make up, like, alternate versions, and, like, fans <laughs> we've been on tour with have made up alternate versions of, like, the lyrics. Of which course. Which we probably can't say. They're not PG at all, but, um. Well, we can't say which, you yeah, can. So say it. Well, mine's not PG either. <laughs> <laughs> well, one slapping, slap me with your penis. <laughs> and then. Tell me all your secrets and slap me with your penis. Yeah, well, that's right. just what I'm saying, yeah. And then another one is, uh, show me your vagina and have sex with me. No, that's the one I had was, and have sex with me. Oh, nice. really? That's what it sounded like the first time I heard it. And I was like, I need to look at the lyrics. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> Tell me all your that, secrets. That and have sex, sex with me. <laughs> and then I played it to a friend and they were like, and I heard and have sleep and sleep with me. 
So we were both along the same lines. I was like, wow, no. that's good. Either you way, guys need to get your minds out of the gutter. All right, tonight, we're, we're going to, the last chorus tonight, we'll sing, we'll sing that version for you. <laughs> Watch it blow up. Yeah, do like a, a unison, <laughs> like. Yeah. I'll actually jump off the drums and... <laughs> Mid thrust and we'll crash. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, so uh, your lyrics are pretty clean. Are you guys a Christian band? Uh, no, we're not. But um, yes, they are clean. Um, I, I kind of made that. They didn't used to be like when we first started, mm -hmm. and uh, I kind of made the choice as we went along that. I don't know. I I just feel like there. I didn't need to throw in, like, the like the swear words. Like here, every other. I don't know. It just wasn't me. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, like, uh, our previous members thought that you know that makes you like hard when you throw in those kind of words. And to me, it was like no. Uh, it just it's just not me. So Got it's it. it's kind of where I stand on that whole thing. I don't mind like songs. You know, some of my favorite songs are have you know swear words in it and stuff like that. It's just. I just don't write. I didn't write like that, and I don't really write like That's that. Cool. It just doesn't come to me like, oh, let's put, Thanks, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know how much I can say on here, but you can say whatever you want. I, I, I wouldn't say like, let's put fuck here. That sounds perfect. Like it's <laughs> I don't know. I don't write like that. So. Yeah. Well, I, another question is because you wrote with Twelve Stones. Yeah, um, which is funny because they uh, aren't a Christian band. They aren't a Christian band either, even though they yeah. were. Yeah. They 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 were marketed that way, but they're like they they're all Christian. That's um, what I was thought with you guys to a point. Yeah, um, but I mean, we're all you know like upstanding citizens. I would say no. <laughs> no. Except for him. Yeah, not him. Yeah. I'm, I'm the piece of trash. <laughs> it's cool. There's it's nothing cool. upstanding about me at all. <laughs> Give me that bottle of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to get cold, guys. There, uh, there you go. There you go. Get this on camera. There you go. Big time. <laughs> This is our new uh, vodka, uh, whiskey endorsement. I don't even know what it Chilling is. Chilling off. It's, cold uh, get a little cold pretty, cracked every once in a while. Pretty awesome. Every once in a while. <laughs> All right. So you guys are on a major tour right now, I'd say. Major. Major. How many dates are on it? Uh, like 40. That's pretty major. Yeah, yeah it is. Like, if you, of in terms of, 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 ta of length of time, yes. And we're playing like pretty much every night of the week. So we take like one night off a week sometimes. Um, what are you gonna do on that one night off a week? Probably what we're doing right now. <laughs> all, all sitting all right here. Right here. We'll watch a movie. Position. We go. We go watch a movie while we pass this bottle back. And I'm forth. gonna. I'm gonna cuddle with my. Yeah, we're gonna. Do <laughs> <laughs> um, That's cool. Now on our days off, we like to. We like to hit the buffet. <laughs> all you can eat buffet. All you can eat buffet. So definitely. You know, a little golden corral in there. A little golden corral. She can um, get her salad. Yeah, I'm a vegan, so it's That's pretty okay. tough. That is rough yeah. for buffets. Yeah, yeah, but no, but like, let's like salad the salad bar portion of the buffet. That's where I go. Okay. <laughs> okay. No judgment. Whatever you say. No judgment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you had your secrets video out two, three months ago. Yeah. November. Yeah. So any plans on another music video? Good question. I've been daydreaming about it recently. Um, possibly, like a spoiler alert. Possibly doing destroy your masquerade and having Paul. Um, Always coming on tour. Twelve stones. So do the video with us. So that would be awesome. Yeah, yeah that's that's hopefully yeah, the next the next video we'll do. Okay. And I've seen awesome. that you guys have been on Warp Tour before for some dates. Mm -hmm. If you were to get on Warp Tour again, would you accept? Oh Like yeah. for the yeah. whole tour. Yeah, it's it's a it's a really strenuous tour. It's uh, tough to do in, a, in like a like we don't have a full bus with the driver, so we had, we still drive ourselves, you know. So like to make a lot of those trips are like 10, 12 hour drives. I'll and drive you. You'll come out with us. Oh, yeah, sure. You got then, yeah, we'll do the whole tour. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay. hired. All right, Kevin Lyman. <laughs> Kevin Lyman, Ash is coming out with us. All right. That's it. <laughs> All right, so what's the ultimate goal for Blame Shift? Uh, why, don't you guys, why don't you guys answer? <laughs> well, these these are both, actually, we didn't officially introduce. Mike and Dan are, are new members in our band, and this is <laughs> our first time on tour all together, <laughs> and... Uh, our second show. Ever. That's why we all love each so other so much new. right now. Yeah, that's they're why new we, to this. Yeah, yeah we haven't started but, uh, dating each other yet. Not quite. A couple days. Yeah, a few more days. <laughs> but uh not me. I'm just the plan is to keep this band together like this for a long time. Um, and just be as successful as possible, make a lot of new fans, um, stay on the road and keep writing music together. It's gonna be exciting to write new music with these two degenerates, so 
We're really excited. Yeah, but it was already like again, you know, we're new. We just started basically playing with him past like week. Yeah. So, but much. already the vibe <laughs> wow. has been really awesome, and like yeah. we've been feeding off each other. It's just Absolutely. really good okay. stuff. Yeah, it's looking forward to it. Yeah, a lot of fun. All right, and for future tours, what would your dream tour be? I, I'm gonna say the used, cause, <laughs> cause you see your sweatshirt, and they're like one of my favorite bands. They are, my and I would favorite. love yeah. to get on stage with Bert. Maybe have him throw up on me here or there. He spit on me. Ugh. He spit on me at, at South by Southwest, and I was like, keep coming. <laughs> More. Keep spitting. <laughs> what about you guys? That's pretty weird. Ultimate tour. Uh, we were just talking about today. Uh, we listen to Amber Lynn. I think that'd be a good yeah. a good fit, even like, musically. Yeah. Um, I, I'm gonna say that. Yeah. I don't answer. Yeah, I don't think I'd have to agree with both of these two. Remember? And the years? Yeah. I mean, for me, like, my favorite band is, like, Seven Dust, so I would love to go out on tour with Seven Dust. But I'd probably get really famous. You're gonna sit on Morgan Rose's lap. Yeah, I would. Yeah. I'd be like, eh. Be helping him set his drums up. <laughs> He'd get <Nice>. comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys got any last words for us? Uh, we love you. You, especially. Um, no, yeah, thank you for coming out tonight. Yeah, thanks for coming. I'm driving so drive. far. I know. And just for anyone that hasn't checked us out, check us out on Facebook uh, and Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and... We'll come out to uh, a show. ChristianMingle.com. Dan's got a little site up there. <laughs> I do? Yeah. yeah. It's I called... One. Uh, my name is Dan the Trash Master Scofield. <laughs> <laughs> Scopes. So Scopes. get up on there and find me. <laughs> I'm all over it. <laughs> all right. Ash checking out here with Blame Ship. Later, guys. Blame Ship. Blame Ship.